Nityanandam, with the auspicious grace and blessings of my Guru, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda Swami, or Swamiji, I make this video today. Again, on what does it mean to be spiritual? Now, many people I've interact with, interacted with have some ideas on what spirituality is and what it isn't. And one of the common themes, one of the common understandings or cognitions about being spiritual is that you have to give up something to gain something in the world of spirituality. And what I found from my experience as a disciple and sannyasi of, of Swamiji, that is not true. Actually, only out of the space of real fulfillment do you move on to something else. The whole idea of giving up something to gain something come, is almost like a negative connotation, a space of incompletion or um, lack of fulfillment leading to something else. But actually, my experience after meeting Swamiji, after the first workshop with him, it was just a three-day workshop, uh, which took place in Orlando, Florida. Immediately, I was just overwhelmed with this feeling of fulfillment. Such a calmness happened inside of me, such a, just a sweet bliss and peace happened inside of me. And all the things I was thinking about, planning for, thinking, deciding for, not sure about in my future, whatever it was, purpose of life, relationships, family, everything. All these things I used to think about day in, day out. Simply, I just stopped thinking about them. And it was not any feeling of a loss for not thinking about those things or not worrying about those things. What I actually gained was this beautiful space of restful awareness, of understanding who I am and what I actually want in life. What actually will make me happy in life? Now, does that mean you just drop everything that you're doing right now once you become spiritual? No, but you may align your life to some more mature taste or some more um, different concepts and ideas which resonate with your being. So you're actually gaining. And when, from that space of gaining something, there's no loss. Actually, you'll think, why did I even carry these ideas? Why did I carry these worries or wrong cognitions or fears about life? It's so unnecessary. And if there's still, still something there that's current in your life right now, and you still feel that it's something valuable for you, something you want to pursue, something you want to have in your life, you'll keep it. But you'll keep it from a space of knowing why you want it. Many times, we're running behind something because of what our family has have told us to do, what society tells us to do, what we see in the movies, what we learn about in our education system. And it's not really something that we actually have looked into. Is it something that we actually want to pursue, that we actually want to put all our energies and resources on? And if the answer is yes, after you look into it, then great, you'll pursue it with such, um, such uh, passion to make it happen. So the idea of you'll lose something if you become spiritual is actually wrong. You will actually gain yourself back. You'll gain the right cognition about you, about God, and about the world. When with that new platform, you will make the life you want. And this is exactly what Swamiji teaches in all of his programs, whether it's the, the two-day, three-day workshops, whether it's the Inner Awakening program. It's completely, he introduces you to you. And then from that clarity of you understanding, okay, this is what I want about me, and these are things I don't want. From that understanding, you naturally drop what's not required for you anymore. I'll give you an example. Before I met Swamiji, I was living and working in New York City. And I would say my passion was um, dancing. I would, it was just a hobby, which was a, a serious hobby for me. 
So I would take dance class. I enjoyed it. It was literally something that I could say I loved. So I never imagined that my life would be without it because I didn't have any desire for a life that was without dance. And after meeting Swamiji, it's not that I dropped dance or anything. I just experienced something much more than what anything in my life was giving at that time, a kind of fulfillment and bliss and just peace that stayed with me. It was not something that came just after one experience or one meditation or one workshop. It was just everything shifted inside. So I had no need for this, this hobby of dance. Yes, I still love to dance. Everyone loves to dance. It is a spiritual practice actually, but I didn't need it to make me happy. So that was a liberation because sometimes you think that the things that you do in life, that they are required for your happiness, that without them, you will not be happy. You won't know what to do in life. But actually, you understand that when you go through these, when you look in and see why you're doing what you're doing, and Swamiji has techniques for this, the science of completion, when we manifest powers, all of these things help sort out what's really you and what's really required for your life. So from that context, then you decide, okay, this is what I want in life. And then you allocate your resources, your energy, your time to that, instead of putting it on things that don't even matter to you. So there's only a win-win in the situation. And this even applies to sannyas. Many people think that becoming a monk or a sannyasi means you're just giving up some great parts of the outside world and you've gone into seclusion and all these ideas are there. But I tell you, once you make the decision for sannyas, you will see that you just feel overwhelmed with gratitude with what you've gained. And anything else before that you were thinking was important just becomes redundant. There's no feeling of loss. Otherwise, why would so many of us take up the path of sannyas? All of us um, in the Nityananda Sampradaya came from uh, professional backgrounds, um, good families, you know, we had happy lives, quote unquote, but something more was revealed to us in our spiritual journey. Now, does that mean everyone has to take up sannyas? No. So even if you don't take up sannyas, the understanding you get from your spiritual journey will make your life that much sweeter and make it the way you want it to be and make you in control of it, not depending on anything happening outside of you. So it's really, like they say in the business world, a win-win situation. So if you're thinking about some of these spiritual ideas, watching some of these videos, but then you think, ah, I can't apply it, or I don't want to look into it because I'll have to give up this, which I like. Just drop that idea. Have the courage to look in and take whatever ideas, thoughts are being introduced to you to conclusion, and you'll see that you actually gain. The spiritual life, you'll only gain and you'll become much more uh, fulfilled, complete. And I invite you to check out Swamiji's YouTube uh, site, which is youtube.com slash Nityananda TV and explore all the videos that are posted there. There's so many videos about, um, you know, spiritual life, life solutions, love, relationships, wealth, all of these things which we think are important. Swamiji gives us the right context to make them as we want it and to understand them from the right context. So you owe it to yourself to look in. And um, if you have any questions, you disagree, or you're not sure what I you know, was trying to convey, you know, I appreciate any feedback or comments. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in for these few minutes. And hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, day, wherever you're at. Thank you so much. Nityanandam.